So I've got to ask this question. Are we cursed in the Quinky Cup or something? I can't seem to do well anymore. We lost some penalties to a second tier side. And we've not got past the seventh round in the three seasons we've been in the save. Am I just destined never to win this trophy? I wish I knew why we're doing so badly, but okay, it is what it is. Let's get on with the video. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jeff TV. I am Jeff and this is Football Manager 2022. Our journey with Shadow R. Today we're taking on Tottenham and we're hopefully going to be able to beat Tottenham despite how difficult this group has been so far. Also, apologies for the video that ha that was uploaded last time out. I had to literally re-record the entire thing. So the quality is probably not as good as it used to be. And, well, it's not ideal. Still, we've had a few games since we last met. So let's go over those games, shall we? The first game we had since we last met was actually against Lamel. And we took the lead inside 20 minutes after Stadio scored the opening goal. Before Gustafsson scored that penalty to make it 2-0. To ensure we had the best response possible to being thumped 5-0 by East Milan. Despite putting out a slightly rotated squad, which is very useful to say the least. It's good to know we can still win, even without our best squad available. We then took on Jürgen and inside 34 minutes, Angle Kill gets his first goal, I think, of the season. But we actually consider an equaliser. Inside the 47th minute of the game, Jago finds Pavlik and he scores. It was actually crashing for offside, but it was allowed in the end. But then we went behind inside 55 minutes, 56 minutes, and I couldn't believe that Huiko scores this goal. And I think, okay, we need to up the tempo, get a bit more attacking. And attacking we did. Kiembe making himself a nuisance, finds the ball in the middle, finds De Winter, who's playing as a Mazala. He's good in the air. And then two minutes later, Gustafsson finds Romagna, who scores to make it 3 2, to ensure that we come from 2 1 down to win 3 2. Wasn't it ideal that we went down 2 1, but we then just came back and went more attacking and it worked wonders. So good to know. We can absolutely bully a team if we needed to. Even if we should never consider those two goals in the first place. We then took on Tottenham in the Europa League. And we took the lead after Ankel Gil scores the opening goal inside 54 minutes. Unfortunately for us, we couldn't beat Tottenham despite our best efforts. Reguilon plays it more in the middle. Finds Oxley chairman of all people. And despite that, we got a point against Tottenham. So... Maybe Tottenham's not unrealistic to be after all. Milan couldn't beat them, but we got a point. Now, admittedly, we were very lucky to get the point, and admittedly, it was also one of those things where we got a point at home at Tottenham. Milan went to Tottenham and lost, but it's still a point against Tottenham. Even if we're going to White Hart Lane later today, this is a promising sign. The next game we had was against Jen, and we took the lead inside three for minutes after Stefan scored the opening goal. But Jen equalised not too long afterwards, actually, after Castro and Montes plays this through. And I'm going to be honest with you, Kiba should do better there because Jen should not be able to score back that sort of angle. But in so 57 minutes, they're 2-1 one, one up after Okumu scores that goal. I thought it was offside, but it wasn't. And we went attacking again. And Lopez decided to make himself a hero here because he got the ball back and then shoots and scores. 66 minutes in, it's 2-2. Two, two. We then... Get a goal from this corner, not straight from the corner, but come on afterwards. Gustafsson plays in the middle, finds Delphi, Delphi scores. It's good. And then, 85 minutes in, we're 4 2 up. Kiembe making himself a nuisance, finds Govia. Govia plays it across, finds Delphi. It's easy, easy as you like. And 4 2 against the closest team in the, in the league to us. We're looking very strong in the league right now. We then had this game against Wesleyan Brethren, where we lost some penalties to them. The less about this, the better. The last game we had was against Unison Galleries, and we took the lead inside 67 minutes in after a magnet scores from that free kick. Before 91 minutes in, we make it to Delphi gets tackled. He finds Gustafsson, but Simon scores. Simon, the ultimate super sub, it feels like at times, gets in a second goal of the season. So good to see we're winning again. And looking at the league right now, we are comfortably top of the table. 8 points clear of Jen and 14 points clear of Genk after 14 matches. That is ridiculous. And it really shows that our only defeat of the season was one I am very frustrated about because, ironically enough, the team that beat us are in 5th place. 
15 points behind us, along with Standard Liege and Union Saint Gilles. Club Bruges are down in ninth right now. 21 points behind us after 14 matches. Andalet, 12th place, even further down. Yeah, 22 points behind us. Two of the title favourites from last year that finished in the top four of us are struggling. Sursi Bruges, they're 26 points behind us and are trying to avoid relegation. Yeah, the three teams that finished in the top four of us not having a good time so far. Fennel though, who won the Conquer Cup last year, looking good for themselves. So, I think the league title should be ours unless we absolutely bottle it from here. Going to the Europa League now, we're actually in third place. Four points from our first three matches and Tottenham are top with seven. East Milan have beaten us and Wilson Burek so far. If we beat Tottenham today, we go above them due to results between teams and potentially could be in second place because I don't see Milan dropping points. So... We have something to fight for here, and I'm hopeful we can win. Now, again, we should be winning our next game afterwards against Wilson Burek, uh, or Wilson Burek, sorry. But there you go, it's one of those things. Let's take on Tottenham, let's try and make sure we win, and try to ensure we're in the best position possible, because let's be honest, it's Tottenham at White Hart Lane. Or is it, is it White Hart Lane or New White Hart Lane? How, what's the name called actually? Let me check. So at the top of the Hotspur Stadium, I just checked and realised I got the name wrong. That's a thing. Our two wingers and a strike up front have not been great as of late. So maybe I should rotate a bit here. I can't really think about this, but there you go. Simon could be starting ahead of Ali. Yankov has been very poor. And I'm actually thinking of sending him. In fact... And that's how much I'm getting annoyed with him. The fact I could be selling Yankov this year to prove a point, despite saying despite signing for 2.6 million is not a good sign. But our lineup is going to be this regardless. We're gonna have Arlisabel in goal, the winter as the right back, because Dasa got injured. He's up for seven days to two weeks due to a pulled calf muscle. We've got Ankle Gil and Stefan in the centre back positions. We've got Sonola as the left back. We've got Zorgane as the DM. We've got Marco and Gustafsson as the midfielders. Ali and Yankov as the wingers. Lopez up front. Despite the fact that the two wingers and striker have been very crushed more late. Despite the fact we're winning games left, right, and centre. Still, let's see how we do. And let's try and win this game. Even if it's probably mission impossible. Okay, Tottenham have a free kick. Very early days. Oxley chimney to take. He's going to go for goal. And, oh God. Kane had a chance there. Despite the fact we saved it, that was not ideal that Kane got there first. And Lopez could be... Wait, what? Lopez is there? He's not going to get anything out of this, surely. There's no way he's going to get anything. He played it back. Yankov? Wide. Oh, okay. That was not bad. They got a corner now. And that's a very looping header. And, wow, okay. That's a very looping cross. Kane gets to that. And it's... Safely away. Okay, it's a looping ball. We're going to get to... this. Stefan gets to there. Okay, here's Marco. And Ali's there. Are we actually take, attempting to take on Tottenham in their own game and trying to do well? That's a bit of a loose ball. But Gustafsson now finds Jankov. Ali's had his shot blocked. He's got the ball again, though. And it's gone for a corner. We're actually taking the game to Tottenham. That's nice. I don't feel as bad now. Maybe my... Call that Milan with a bad team was alright, and I don't know, but Gilles had a chance that's gone over, and we're taking it good to Tottenham. In an ideal world, we could beat Tottenham. Milan are comfortably winning their game, 5-0 in the first half already, despite missing a penalty, so I don't feel as bad now, because I don't think I was I was only 5-0 down at the end of the day, not 5-0 down at half time, so Milan are just that good. But Tottenham, though, if we get two draws in a row against Tottenham, I'd be very happy, dude. And maybe even beat them. If we can beat Tottenham at their ground, that's the ultimate goal now. Beat Tottenham at their ground. We're not being terrible at all. Okay, so Kane trying to get to this first. Stefan gets there instead. And we are doing quite well here. De Winter finds Ali. Plays it back to Gil. Here's De Winter. Gil. Stefan. And, I don't know. Sornola. Yankov. Sornola again. I genuinely believe this is... Probably our best squad, and the fact we're taking the game to Tottenham is nice. 
Gurney, Lopez, there's a ball through, Ali's in, Ali shoots, oh he scored, but is it offside, it looked like a very good ball, but I think we've got a goal, please, please, please count, please count, please count, I'm desperate for the count, oh no, oh no, it's off, how close was this, okay, it's miles off, I can see the, why, oh. okay, the winter, Finds Vulgani. So Gani is hard as is someone who looks of his knock. He's the winter. Now I'm Ali on the ball. What can we do? Ali. On the ball. Through. Gustafsson. Gustafsson scores! Who surely has got to count this time? That is surely on this time. Please count this time. Please count. Oh my god. Twice. Twice. I swear to god. I swear to God. Free kick. Govi had to take it. It's gone for goal. It's over. We are taking the game to Tottenham. We are actually taking this game to Tottenham. I swear they score now. Chairman with the corner. No, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. Oh, my God. Why is it? We had two goals ruled out for offside. Now we're going to get a penalty. I swear to God. Save this. Ah, oh, it's his first goal of the season too. Crying out loud. We've not been bad. We've actually been okay here. This has not been a bad performance. We've just been unlucky. The Jibney, I think this has just been unlucky for us to be losing this game. You know what? i got nothing to lose. Let's go very attacking. Why not? Nothing to lose at all. As we're actually on, on the ball. I mean, Milan is 7 up. I, I don't think we're going to catch Milan. If we lose this game, we're out of the competition anyway. We've got nothing to lose. As Rodrigo now plays it across. And that's a very good block by Sonola. We have been very unlucky to lose this game. And I just feel like we've been extremely unfortunate to be even losing this game. We should be winning this game. Legitimately, I think we should be winning this game. It's not my fault that the players messed up their passes. We've had them twice to right. We've had two goals ruled out. Yes, they were offside both times, but even so. Oh. This hurts more. This hurts more than the Milan game. Because we were in this game. We were absolutely in this game. And we deserve to win this game. I honestly think... I don't care about the XG. That's a lie. We were the better team. We were the better team in the second half. And that penalty was stupid. We did not need to give it away. And we gave it away unnecessarily. And we lost because of it. We should not have lost this game. I mean, we're out of the group now. We're not going to catch Milan. I'm not even going to bother going for this. Because I think Milan are actually going to beat Tottenham. And if they beat Tottenham, then they're out. So, yeah. We can't catch, we can't catch Milan or Tottenham here. Oh, my days. That, that hurts. That actually hurts more than anything else. I'm going to end this here though. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys have liked and share this video and that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. Again, apologies for the video on Friday. It wasn't my best work, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this one instead. But anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.